too long. I think I'm probably a little bit lower than I really want to be. Mm, great. I'm golden. I ordered something yesterday. This was annoying. Hanging there. And I guess let me open this and then and then we'll talk. Daddy's gonna have a field day if she gets a hold of these. <laughs> rather fitting Ooh. to get an architecture lamp for our architecture's drafting table. Um, but where are the clamps? There were clamps. Where's the seat clamp? I wonder if it was a fine print thing. I'm gonna be so pissed. Look at how it's the clamp is in the image. Uh, That's so deceiving. Nothing is ever simple. This is literally an image of a clamp. This image is just the clamp. And it actually says just needs clamp on workspace. That could be read as it just needs to clamp on workspace. How about, yeah, clamp not included? It says light not included. It doesn't say clamp not included. Hello and welcome. I feel so weird doing this. I'm reintroducing this video because I'm all ready for work. So I look nice. And in my previous introduction to this video, I looked like a gremlin. I was joking about how I sometimes don't look my best for videos. And there's like TikTok DIY girlies that are like super cute. I'll just insert the clip. You know, it's always, it's so funny. Like sometimes I look nice for videos and then other times I don't. And I just don't know how like the TikTok girlies do all these like crazy projects and they look so cute and they have like bows on their overalls and their hair is like perfectly curled. It's just not me. I, I mean, I, I could try a little harder, but honestly, there's just not enough hours in the day. So I just, you know, figured why not give you my best foot, which is my right foot. My right foot is my best foot. Um, why not put my best foot forward at the beginning of this video and then you can meet Gremlin Michelle later. So we're finishing up this project where I am making this coffee table. It's going really well. So I'm gonna let you watch the other part of the video where we go to the beginning and all of that. Um, but I just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to introduce myself. I don't know, then you can watch the other part of the video. So, welcome to this video. <laughs> showed you before I moved things. I've been sitting on the back of the sofa like here and editing on my computer like in the corner which makes no sense. I just really miss having like a proper desk and I want to do that with the shelves like I did at my old house if you remember or have been here since then. I mean the sofa here isn't perfect but it's fine. And this isn't like a forever sofa anyways, so I just need a more narrow coffee table. And so, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see. Okay, 
Okay. <clears throat> if you've been to my channel before, my battery's dying. Okay. Let's try that again. Um, if you've been here before, you know that I'm not a DIY girly. It's not really my brand. But I've been determined to make this, this coffee table or something like it because they're pretty hard to come by and I just figure why not try to make it for a hundred dollars and a bunch of effort and time instead of waiting for it to come along and spending like, you know, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. So I did spend about a hundred dollars in materials today. These are cedar planks that are going to be the top. Um, I got 10 of them. They are 52 inches long because I felt that that is what would be best for my space, but you can adjust the measurements for your space if you plan on attempting this. These are just 2 by 12 for our legs. Do you see it? Do you see where we're going? Because we're going. Okay. I'm going to start by doing just like a light sanding. A lot of this obviously isn't going to be visible on the exterior of the table. So I'm just going to pick like the best two pieces to go on the outside. So I'm just going to do a light sanding and watch my show. Here's some music. sanded so I'm gonna take this wood stain and go over everything it says one coat and it dries in an hour which is great because I just want this to be the easiest project ever my goal is easiness <laughs> to do this the way that I'm gonna do this. <laughs> you would put these right side down and put these in here and glue it and then you would flip it over and you would nail gun the top. But my nail gun, I got it a long time ago and I never figured out how to make it work. So um, that's a conversation for another day. We're gonna we're gonna glue it and we're gonna keep everything. <laughs> we're gonna do our best. The clamps are going down here. There's. Yeah. That's like... Okay. Let's see if this is like how far I want them apart. 16. 22. We're using liquid nails.
classic me. Um, I this is why I don't do DIYs because I don't measure and I don't prepare. But this is looking good. But I need more wood pieces. <laughs> so close. I thought for sure tomorrow I'd have a new, an, an all new coffee. Shut up! Uh. It's literally so close. Looks so good. Okay, let's finish this. So thank you for dealing with gremlin me. I'm back. Pretty me is back. So Elliot went and got the three piss it, pisses. <laughs> Elliot went and got the three pieces of wood and he stained some for me because he's an ange. And look at how good it's gonna look. Look at how good. This is what's my, my problem with DIYs is that I never properly calculate or really do much calculation at all. I was like on my way to Home Depot, ready to leave, ready to leave for Home Depot. And see, it's gonna look so good. I was literally ready to leave and I was like, yeah, so Elle, you think like 50 by 20? Like, do you think like that's a good? I was like, 52, 52. Like, that's how fast my decision was for getting the pieces for this. And so I thought 10 pieces would be enough because I was like, well, if it's 20 inches and each piece is an inch, you know, spread out, that's 20. But this gap between needed to be slightly smaller than an inch. Therefore, there are 13 pieces. What I've learned so far is that I should not have glued across the top. Let me show you. From the aerial, you can see the glue. So that was dumb. Don't do that when you do this, if you do this, if you decide to do this. Just glue each individual piece and, you know, be more patient than I am. Learn from my mistakes. Yeah, just don't do what I do. Do it better. Be better than me. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glue these pieces. So something else I learned is that this absolutely needs to be, needs, needs a nail gun. So I think visually let me show you where the one nail is i put one nail in the top and it was not easy to do i thought it was going to be easy why did i think it was going to be easy it's sticking up can you see it do you see do you see the nail don't love that also unsure of how i'm going to get it out let's Let's do a little test of stability. I'm kind of nervous. I mean... That's pretty good. The fact that I could lift it up makes me think that I'm gonna leave it like this and be lazy, because that's what I do. But don't do what I do. <laughs> I just can't figure out how to get my nail gun to work. But listen, aesthetically, I have reached my goal. Later tonight, let's, we can style it together. Oh my God, there's a needle on the floor. No one is safe in my house. I mean, I feel really good about this. I do have to figure out what I'm gonna do to disguise the glue that I didn't think about. I started this project around, I got home around 3.30 and would have been done by seven if I had all the proper pieces. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I think I'm gonna get some brown paint to disguise in between. But you guys won't need to do that. That's right, because, because you're gonna learn from my mistakes. All right, I'm gonna go to work. I'll see you guys later. visit from fancy Michelle again it is such a beautiful day it's like already 57 degrees outside in January but I have all the windows open I'm actually pretty impressed with how this turned out I sent Elliot on a task yesterday to go to get a sample of paint you know at work we have like the 
like swatches for like all the different paint companies. So I was, I just picked out an ashy brown so that we could cover up the glue, my glue mistakes. So you really can't even tell at all, and especially once it's, once it's styled. I'm sorry, it's garbage day. So tonight I want to try to style this and actually put it in my living room. Anyways, I did not reinforce this with nails or screws. Controversial, maybe, probably. I didn't want to, and it's fine. It's a really light table, you know? It's not like super heavy. I'm actually really happy. And I was thinking it could be cute at the end of the bed. I wouldn't recommend sitting on it. It's probably fine, but I'm not liable if you hurt yourself. So I said it, don't sit on it. light on Etsy forgot to send me the clamp then she tried to send me the clamp and she accidentally sent it to Philadelphia so I ordered one from stupid Amazon so there it is there's a light I'm very happy with it I decided to stop watching the video that I was watching because I thought my sound should be on instead of there being like a, you know, like music or whatever playing for you guys. If this video proves nothing else, it's that I don't like to do things the right way. I don't know what happened when we were moving out and changing out our light fixtures from our last place the like plates that you screw into the ceiling that attach the light fixture are not um, with my light fixtures. So I don't have those plates that you use to 
keep this part up to the ceiling. My theory with what I'm about to do is that this is gonna be very light. So I got electrical tape and I'm gonna do it the wrong way. I'm gonna tape it, I'm gonna tape it. And we'll see how janky it looks. But I don't have a plate, what am I supposed to do? Plus there's a grounding wire, you know? So that should keep it pretty, pretty taut. I need to see how I'm gonna actually measure something. Can you believe it? I'm gonna see how far I want the actual light. Wow, what a waste of a box. This whole box, like they could have just mailed this. Has anyone guessed yet what this light is gonna look like? Any guesses? You guessed correct. As you saw, there was a ceiling fan. And I don't need a ceiling fan in here. Is that satisfying? Are there more pieces? Stretched. back this up and use this use my camera to see what looks right does that look right I think that's actually maybe the right length man I'm so dirty from that ceiling fan I didn't even notice that my shoulder had dirt on it This is electrical tape, by the way, in case anyone wanted to know. I have an idea. Literally, how would they know? They're not gonna know. It's a little frightening when things work out that shouldn't. Never do what I do. Don't do what I do. Take my advice, but don't take my advice. That looks great. <laughs> that should not look good. It is a, it's a little crooked. I'm nervous to turn the light on. No fires. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you tonight. I do need to fix how crooked this is. And my battery's gonna die, so. I wish you could see everything all together because it looks so cute, but I, I can't back my camera up. I'll insert an image of what it looks like. And then this is this is kind of my signing off point. I think I deleted footage. So I wanted to show you, I went to go thrifting the one day and I took out the part where I told you I was going thrifting because then I deleted the footage of what I got. Anyways, I got this chair. Elliot wanted a higher chair for here and I got...